It's a new marketing tool which doesn't use flyers, billboards, or commercials. A Toronto-based startup is using social media influencers to help restaurants bring in the business. Two pink mac and cheeses and two pink grapefruit sodas. So I can bring a guest. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And then they tell you what the request, the content is, and what hashtags they want, and then I can just claim it. Alicia Young is a Toronto social media influencer. She's got over 39,000 Instagram followers and is always looking for fresh content to post, including local restaurant recommendations. Who doesn't like free food? And also creating content and getting to work with these restaurants. The app that helps her do that is Node, a Toronto-based startup connecting restaurants like this one, Parka Food, bars and cafes with local influencers. They get free food in exchange for sharing Instagram posts. Restaurants pay $100 to $200 a month to access the app. Would you say it's cheaper for restaurants to go with an avenue like this than you know traditional marketing such as commercials, flyers, billboards? Yeah, significantly. So I mean, um, based on just the campaigns that we've ran, we've seen that um, the, the average spend to reach the same amount of customers through Facebook ads or Instagram, um, you're spending about eight times more than you would through an influencer on Node. Eric Chow, the owner of Parka Food, uses the app. That's just where people are, you know, especially in our target segment. Uh, very young for people. Um, they're just. That's, they get to spend a lot of their time on Instagram, and uh, especially for restaurants and food. They know that it's someone that's like them and more relatable instead of someone like a celebrity that's doing a paid ad for them. Mm -hmm. um, influencers not necessarily have to do paid ads, but it's also um, more organic and you get to actually share what you genuinely like with your audience. Do you feel pressure to uh, act like you like the food? Like what if you don't like it? Well, if I don't like the food, I don't have to post, but obviously I get to choose which restaurants I want to work with. The app, which launched this past August, has over 40 restaurants participating and over 300 social media influencers. Malia Sheikh, City News, Toronto.